Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you guys my freelancing kit. So if you guys want to keep on watching and see what I have in my kit, I'll have everything linked down below. Um, as in like chairs and like what I take my makeup in. Obviously you see that this is my chair. Um, it's pretty good and it's pretty easy to you know um close up well, it's pretty easy to close up and open up um to close up you just pop it like this it's easy it comes with like a little foot rest right here so you bring it down once you open it up um and to open it up you just pop it into place so it's really easy. Um, the only thing I would say about this chair is that it has a lot of space. Um, so most of the time I have like a pillow for my clients so they don't feel like they're like so back. Um, sorry, I'm like sorry, breath. But um, yeah, like for somebody who's short, like it's perfect for me just because Regardless if you're tall or short, it's at least I'm not like crouched over and like blending and blah blah, blah doing my thing. Um, it also has pockets on the side, like a phone pocket. It, I use this little pocket as like a trash pocket. It has a little table. I don't like to use it. It just it's in the way. I like to begin with my actual kit. I carry this one. I carry the one that rolls as well, and they come together. It's perfect. It rolls. I actually just <laughs> funny thing. I actually just realized that it rolls like 360. Um, one day I was just playing with it. I'm like, wait, this rolls. So it has this as well, and yeah. So this is like really handy. Um, they go together. So if you want to like take this off. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna take the top off and pop this one on here. And it's like it has the things to close it, you know. Um, you can, but this is just it's so heavy like this that I need like a balance from this one and from that one. And this one comes with a strap as well. I just don't have it on. Um, it bothers me sometimes, so I either sometimes take it off, put it back on, you know. It does get like really heavy, but I try to do like one thing at a time, or at least like this one and this one, and then go back for my chair and my pillow, because yeah, it's a freaking workout. To just get into it, um, you you know unlock it. I already locked unlocked that one, and I take this out. It has a lot of space. Um, mine is getting really crowded in here, which is why this is like sticking out and it's not allowing it to close how it should. But it's cool. Like, I'll have to work with it because it was too much freaking money. So, to begin with, I have some glitters and some lipsticks over here. Well, a glitter. I don't really like to work with glitter. A lot of my clients don't usually put glitter. And if I do, well, or if they do, then I'll use like these, these kinds. They come in clutch. And I have some other palettes that are glitter as well. So, you know, I have lipsticks here and liners, lip liners. I have well are they lip yeah i guess they're considered lipsticks they're um geez what are they called they're just lip products lip products here lip products here all my concealers here um these ulta revolution maybelline la girl heart I have a lot of the, yeah, well, you guys, 
at the point, a whole bunch in there. Um, here I have my lash stuff. Well, my lashes, my my um, eyelash curlers, and then these are little patches to put underneath your client's eyes if you know you know you're gonna work with like fallout with eyeshadow that has fallout. So yeah, and then okay, so this is like one of the biggest things that I think um, makeup artists lack on, and it's not talked about a lot. Cross contamination is a real thing, okay, you guys. Like, if you want to build a kit and you want to go on about your freelancing and it's going good, the first thing that I suggest you do is get a whole bunch of these like if you're gonna be doing um a lot of people's makeup you do not want to be using the same wand you do not want to be using the same um like eyeliner things these are like for eyeliner these are for lipstick lip gloss lip whatever and these are also for eyeliner um And put that back in there. I have a whole bunch. Um, I have a whole bunch in my room as well, so I'm not going to run low at any point. Also, after using a lipstick or after using even a powder, spray alcohol on it, let it dry because I'm talking about like cross contamination is a real thing like germs are out there all right you guys so please 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 like that's the biggest thing on this video is be clean sanitize your things um clean your brushes in between clients don't reuse the same brushes don't re don't reuse the same mascara wand don't re-dip um that's like one of the things as well um like mascaras and stuff like that you can easily get an eye infection <sighs> grosses me out yes, but anyway. with like lipsticks like these um spray 70 percent alcohol on it it really won't do any damage oops sorry it won't do any damage to your makeup not your bro not your not your powders not your lipsticks nothing that you use will damage it so please just be clean don't think it's going to damage your makeup it's not so here i have a hula bronzers my bronzer um highlight blush highlight blush and two little highlights here as well um here i have glitter glue and another like little liquid highlight okay so that's it with this little compartment that goes on top of here um here i have my brushes this is, these are my eye brushes eyebrow brushes they're like my smaller brushes um i like to carry a couple of the same ones but obviously more than one <laughs> for if i have like more than one client so i don't have to like rush and clean um, my brushes in between um if i know i only have those clients let's say like um the other weekend i had three clients um so it's perfect you know i have three brushes one for each girl i have extras i maybe have like five of these brushes um like maybe three eyebrow brushes i have a whole bunch of blending brushes like white bristles um dark bristles and then i have like little like tiny tiny for like detail work and stuff like that and like flat brushes i have yes these are my little brushes and i do wear my belts as belts it's just so much easier than bending down and trying to look for like a specific brush it's 
a freaking lifesaver. Um, so there goes one. My other one is for my face brushes. Like I said, I have multiple of the same brush sometimes. Um, right here. So yeah, I like to carry more than one brush. My face brushes, I tend to have to clean them more often in between clients just because I don't have as many as I do my little brushes. Um, so yeah, and these two belts are from Morphe, I believe. Um, one, I think, came with um, a set of brushes that I bought from them. So yeah, it was, I think Morphe is like one of the best brands out there one of the best brands out there so yes um big brushes little brushes and i both wear i wear both sorry so in here i have this big old thing which is what's causing my brushes to like overflow well not really brushes but this is just a big old bag with a whole bunch of stuff but before we get into that i'm going to show you i have Morphe 35B, Morphe 35F, I believe. Yes. 35F, 3502, and then 39A. So these are the ones that I have in here. These are like the bigger palettes that I don't put in there. Those usually are like my smaller palettes. So getting into this one, this one, oh, it's so, it's hectic in here. Okay, so clearly all of my foundations, um, I need to get more like darker shades um, and some more lighter shades because some of these have SPF in it. Um, I don't really like to use F SPF on my clients due to flashback and you know that's a no-no especially because I have a lot of clients who are like quinceanera clients, um, bridal, um, you know stuff like that so it's they're like big events you do not want any flashback um, which is yeah like a big thing you don't want them to look like super super white that's also has to do with powders um i believe it's like cecilia or cilia i'm not sure what it's actually called that's in the powder the ingredient um that makes you have a flashback so i'll have to like look into that and put it down below so you guys can know and so no spf if you do not want flashback okay like no spf on your foundation i have a couple but that's if it's like um just an outdoor thing you're not going to be taking any pictures at night like most of your photography is going to be in the day and you want something glowy and you know something like that that's when i would wear something or put on my client an spf um and also of course like you want to protect your skin from the sun um, here I only have a couple things like brow gel, my glue, more um, eyelash curler. This is like for individual when the lashes are already put on. Mascara. This is for... Let me get it. This is for like foundation foundations when i want to get stuff from there even if i want to get like a lip product from like the one that i have like multiple in i'll show you guys i'll just scoop it out and put it on this little palette that's over here on here and this can be easily hey guys this can be easily wiped off with uh makeup wipe and then alcohol so yeah I also don't have my alcohol. Oh, let me put that back. Now. I don't have my alcohol bottle right now. Um, so just you know, just a little bottle filled with seventy percent alcohol in it, and you can find that at the store. Seventy percent alcohol in it. You do not have to put any water in it. It will not damage your product. So yes. 
so yeah that's what i have in here my little eyelash things um <laughs> curler whatever not curler tweezers tweezers that's what they're called um and then i have a mascara guard sorry it's like kind of dirty but yeah i have a mascara guard also over here i have well you can see it through here i have my pomades my eyebrow pomades i have a little highlighter um eyeliners more lip liners more glue that's you know the little stuff that i'd rather just not carry out in like stuff like that in like a container like that here are all my face products um this is a foundation palette this can... little baggie i got it at ulta this i got at amazon 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 so i have everything linked down below don't worry you guys so i have like i said face products here um my concealer jeez i am just like ah uh, my mind is somewhere else clearly because it's not here and I know the product's name, I just don't know why the hell I am, like, I'm losing my shits. Anyways, <laughs> I have face products, okay? Face products, bronzers, um, highlighter kits, highlighter kit, um, more bronzer, bronzers, or contour powders. You see, like, I can barely close it on you guys, like, <sighs> Oh god. I need a new one. I think I'm gonna buy another one at on Amazon. Because this is um Yeah, this is like super big. I cannot close it anymore. I can't close it anymore. Like, okay guys, so now and also in that one I usually have my I'm sorry, they're like air drying and this little shoe box is all busted up, but I have all my sponges. This is um, a foundation brush that I just washed because I used it over the weekend, but yeah, they're there drying. I have a whole bunch more, but the Real Technique sponge is like one of my favorites to use. I'm sorry, this looks like nasty it's not i swear it's just you know powder that i dropped throughout the time okay so starting here i love to carry my hand sanitizer please 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 always use hand sanitizer you are touching somebody's face if not you know ask can i use your bathroom to wash my hands like let it be known that you are being clean anyways moving on um this is a makeup remover in case you know you messed up something and you have to remove it and i got it um primer 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 sorry primer 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 <laughs> i have most of my primers clearly here my powders i like to use uh, revolution cover effect um uh, laura and this is the RCMA powder and just a, like a little Laura Mercier container. Um, these, none of these get flashback. If you want a good powder, one, two, three, four. You have four good powders. Moving on to here. We're almost done, guys. Like, I'm almost done, I swear. So I have my little container to put in my brush cleaner. This fash, this is one of the best best brush cleaner well in between brush cleaner because i would not brush i would not wash my brushes um like fully with this i would still give it another wash with my alori if you guys don't know what alori is or that brand then go check out my review on alori i will have it linked down below that brush cleaner is amazing like for everything even your sponges this is just for your brushes and it's only like for in-between clients you know what i mean 
um so yes i wouldn't use this like full time <laughs> um i would say but yes it has like a little it came with a little like tin i would say and i mean clearly i've used it for my clients um sometimes i have like five a day which is insane but yeah so i have another little like brush cleaner which i don't really use sometimes i use it like if i want to use that same brush at that moment because this you have to let dry for maybe like a minute or two this one you just and then it comes off pretty easy i have my setting sprays setting spray it's two of the same brand or of the same one <laughs> and this is another setting spray as well um my chocolate palette i have my jaclyn hill vault palette my huda beauty is down there and this is my anastasia like the lip kit that i was talking to you guys about this is what i use a little spoolie for as well i have my anastasia palettes here this is a little a little brush box that i got with my jaclyn hill favorite brushes or whatever you know she came out with like a, a thing of like favorite brushes of her favorite brushes from morphe and this is where i put my dirty brushes once i'm done with them and like my clients so i know which ones i used and which ones i didn't use so i don't have to rewash them i have two kylie palettes here and then momager palette so that's what i take or have in my kit if you guys recommend me have something else in my kit okay you guys so yeah that's basically it and that wraps up my what's in my kit if you guys have any recommendations or um something else well yeah a recommendation of what i should put in my kit what works for you um maybe it'll work for me and don't forget that i will have most of the things listed down below as in like my bag that i have in there these big boys and then my chair so you guys can look down below and purchase it yourself if you guys want that or look on amazon they have um thing so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time